Today we're going to be doing a poached walleye frittata, which is a breakfast egg bake. To start off, we're just going to, we have a sauce pot here. We're going to get this filled up with some water, bring it to a simmer, pour a pinch of olive oil in, squeeze a half a lemon. And I like to put some peppercorns in it, just adds a little extra bite to the fish itself. And then just some parsley stalks, just for some flavor. Here we have the walleye. What we're gonna do is just trim that right off. There's also some bones that run here. I just like to trim that off as well. So now what I'm gonna do is just start cutting the walleye into strips. So this is close to a pound, which is what we're using in our recipe today. So we have our fish. So we have our poaching liquid simmering. Just wanna give it a couple cracks of salt. We're gonna go right in with our walleye. This is gonna take about five minutes. So our fish is done poaching. Just gonna give it a stir so the heat distributes. And there we go, fish is poached. Should already almost be chilled enough that you can put it away in the refrigerator. What we need to do now is start getting the base together for this frittata. I have some farm fresh eggs here. We are going to crack five. And what I like to do is add heavy cream or whole milk. We definitely want to season. And a little pepper. And I always like to add a little hot sauce. It may sound weird, but trust me, just a few dashes of hot sauce. So what we're gonna do now, whip it up. A little serrano. Kind of a little surprise. And then we have some green onion. I just trim off the outside. This one doesn't have one. We'll save these pieces for stock. You could even use green onion in your poaching liquid if you want, like the butt ends. That would work just great for the walleye. What we're gonna do now is chop up our red peppers, just large chunks. Now, just get a pan warm with a little bit of olive oil and butter. I like to take some of these veggies too as a base. Add some black beans. Just season again with a little bit of salt and pepper. Get our red peppers in here. Poached walleye. Finally, we have our pecorino cheese. Just grate some over the top. Pop it in the oven at 425 and we're gonna bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's been 35 minutes. Our frittata is ready. For me, I like to cut it right away. So what we're gonna do is just wedge out a nice piece. Just so you can see what it looks like on the inside. All that nice poached walleye, red peppers, green onion. Nice little spice to it. And I would just serve this with some biscuits or salad, whatever you like for breakfast. For me, this is just about enough with a nice big cold glass of milk.